We talked to Lamborghini about the Huracan Evo way back at the Geneva Auto Show. Well, now we're gonna actually try it out with this new LDVI system. Now we're gonna jump on the track and see what happens. The way LDVI works according to Lamborghini is that it actually predicts how you drive. Instead of reacting to a situation, it uses information from the grip, from the drive mode, the way you're accelerating, the way you're turning, everything about the car, the suspension, and actually predicts what is going to happen next. We're gonna try it out on this track and see how well it does. Before Lamborghini set me free on the track, they had me do a slalom course and drive down one of the more challenging turns of the track to get a feel for the suspension and all-wheel drive steering system. Now, the more I drive vehicles with all-wheel steering, the bigger fan I become of the systems. Sure, it's weird at first, but around corners, it's great. While this car is a nice size for me as a tall person, when I had to wear a helmet in order to drive on the track, I actually had to sit in a very odd position. Actually, my driving form was horrible, but because of the LDVI system and my bad form around the track, I could actually tell that the car actually seemed to be predicting how my driving would commence and how I would go around corners. And a few times I felt it corrected in real time my bad cornering. It is an impressive system and Lamborghini should be very proud of it. In addition to the LDVI system, Lamborghini also added a new infotainment system to the Huracan Evo. While it's not as robust as the system found in the Urus, which is just a reskinned version of Audi's MMI, it does follow the trend of moving the climate controls to a touchscreen. Now, I wasn't able to test the navigation since we were on a track, and my biggest concern is how far down the center console it is for turn-by-turn -turn instructions. Still, it has its charm, including the ability to adjust the media volume by just using two fingers moving them up and down on the screen. Of course, you can't talk about a supercar without dropping the specs. The Huracan Evo's 5.2 liter V10 engine pushes out a whopping 640 horsepower and 443 foot-pounds of torque. That pushes it from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Throw in that it has all-wheel drive, all-wheel steering, and the impressive LDVI system that helps you drive a powerful beast like this without being overbearing, and it's almost easy to see why someone would pay over $260,000 for this supercomputer with a powerful engine. Of course, if they plan on taking it on the track, they might want to make sure they're shorter than six foot three inches. The Lamborghini Huracan Evo, well, I can't afford it, and I'm assuming most of you can't either, but the technology that's in this car right now, the LDVI system, eventually it'll work its way down into regular passenger vehicles. And when that happens, it's gonna be pretty great. For more automotive coverage from Engadget, be sure to subscribe.